Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial of T-shirt design. So I am back after a long time, and today I am going to show you how to make a recreate T-shirt design. That means an order from Fiverr. So my client wanted to recreate this design but with different text. So first of all, for recreating a design like this, we are not going to recreate it exactly. We are going to make a similar design. So for doing that, I needed this this snake. So this is a flag snake that is called don't don't thread on me. So you can search like this, that's then flag. You will find tons of different images of that exactly same thing. And here you can see this is the Wikimedia Commons. That means this is a Creative Commons file. We can use this in our design, and there will be no copyright infringement for this one. So the thing of this a common is if you click on this link it will give us a link to download this exact file so you can see this is showing original file is svg format that means if we click here we can simply download this one just save it as it save as and it will be save as this svg or a scalable vector file so that is how i get this flag here i'll be using this one and as you can see this vector format so dot png to pixelation it will be 100% vector. So second step is we need to create a border like this. So this ornamental or floral border you can see. So for making a border like that, you have to search like this decorative elements on free pick and it will show tons of different collection like this. And I am going to use these two as you can see they are free to download. So you can download them for free. And then one more thing I will need I am going to the gun in my design so i was searching like gun vector and i find tons of different guns here so i'm going to use one this is key to download on so download this one for regular free pick account you don't need to have a premium subscription so that's the elements i will be here first of all i'm going to from this one so this is the gun i will be using let's copy this paste it here now i'm going to elements so i want to just create on bottom and on top part of the border so i'm going to use this one first of all is i need to make it for amazon so that is that's why i need to make a size so in regular that is 4500 into 5400 but if you take a 500 into 100 rectangle here that is exactly the same ratio of that 4500 into 5400 so i'm going to just make it a stroke let's make it black and then lock it so go to object then lock lock selection that will lock my this box and whatever i'm going to here i will stay inside this box and that will give that exactly same 4500 into 5400 output ratio something like this put now I am going to unlock this so that I can simply align it box here and that is fine. Now for the side of this border I am going to use something from here. Okay so from this one I will be using that border. So I can select I can take this one or any other one. I Let's see how it is going to. How it is good now for one I will maybe like this it's going to be the main border of my thing like this put like this and then enter then again I'm going to select this box and that the key object and then align it in the center so for this one I'm going to select this one and this one make the hook then again I am going to select this one, make that the key object, align in the center. How it is going to be. And this is how it is looking. Let's try to create a rectangle here. Okay. Take this rectangle, create an offset path of it, but in negative direction, that means minus direction, something like that. That is fine. So a bit here in size. Then I am going to create another offset path, not that much. So as you can see here this is how it is going to be how it is 
going to be the border of my design so i need to select this then i want to select data offset path for it of course not in negative direction in positive that means in plus direction something like click ok so ctrl x to cut it now i'm going to select this group and transparency and here press ctrl f so ctrl f will paste that in front it is not looking very good right now because it is in golden color let's make it black so black will hide this part as you can see here and for my pencil tool okay so maybe i can show my keyboard here i'm pressing n and for pencil tool to just draw a shape like this and whenever we are inside transparency draw a shape that is going to hide the that is behind that shape that is fine from here i'm going to select this one and this one make it black so everything i want to make it black for now so this is how it is looking and for this one select i'm going to create that exact same outline or offset path then at the transparency press ctrl f and this time make sure it is complete black fine shape i don't need them like this let's delete for here part this two i am going to remove them how it should be or it is not looking very good so let's use something from here maybe so i am going to take One from here, right? Control C to copy. I'm going to here. Here it is complete black. Then of course, ungroup it. But fine, I'm going to again something like this. Then another. Here I am going to make a copy and press Ctrl R to reflect. So Ctrl R is my shortcut for reflecting, but you can set your own shortcut. Just like this. This is not perfect border, but it will work for us. So let's make it round for now. Then click OK. Make this lines again. Then inside the transparency, press F is our here and of course I'm going to like this the border area that we wanted to create how the main area or the side border is looking right now and maybe just bring them a bit down like this but let's look that is fine now I want to put this snake in the middle, so I'm going to ungroup it, delete the yellow background, that part. So I need to make sure that there is no overlapping colors here. I want to make sure everything is in one color style. So I'm going to make it. In. Then I'm going to on this trim option. Trim will cut it everything that we can see. Now double click to isolate this layer. <laughs> this color from here then go to select same and then fill color it will select everything that is in exactly same color these are all the colors i'm going to get them and then i'm going to select this one then i'm going to make it back here so there may be some white in the design so let's see if i select this black with my magic wand tool and then cut it it is going to select everything here and you can see there are some empty strokes left here so that is that's something we don't want so we can simply delete that then press ctrl f again that will place only the black layers now that is fine i'm going to select this one more time then make sure it is complete black that is good and from here i want to place my this 
can here okay so give it also and then double click to isolate click on this white and then remove it okay so let's not remove it we can keep that click on this black with magic wand tool and make this black that is how it is look right now I want to place this gun some area that much now this is how it is looking let's make it red so that we can see what is going on so i want this snake to wrapping my gun and for doing that i'm going to lower the opacity of my gun so something like this this is how it is going to look now i'm going to select this gun open transparency on this clip and here i want to keep this part behind my snake so i need to make a drawing here so make it back then i'm going to draw a step like this and this shaking a bit how it is going but it doesn't have to be very perfect so in this area i want this gun to be behind the snake that is why i need to it from here and here i want to keep the gun on top then again i am going to draw it like this fine so maybe i don't want but i want the gun to be on top of the snake from here and then inside the snake from here and then of course again i am going to make this part top of my snake and then here i want my snake top so this uh, sounds a bit confused here but practice if you understand what is going here As you can see this is how it is looking right now and that is fine for me i'm going to just select this now again make sure that you are picking the black color and then wherever i kept the gun visible so from here i want i'm using pen for a better line like this hide the snake from this area go so from this area like this that is good so selecting the gun again i am going to make it black opacity then i am going to make it black so as you can see how it is looking it is now the snake is now kind of wrapping the gun so how i want to make it here and inside this i want to make it center position just like this example here so we are using a bit longer shape of the cardboard we can do that Make it a little longer that is fine i'm going to it get in size like this but in the center position then i want to put this text here so don't thread on me i want to make a curve here take a ellipse from this area like this maybe i will just align it with the center position of the snake that is fine Okay, so let's cut text selecting this one go to type on a path tool and then click and press ctrl v to paste it so that is how it is looking go to type type on a path type on a path options paste line to set them and then this is how it's good. let's try to place it in the center button just make it like this It here 
like this like from here i'm going to make it a line with the that is something like that will work so come and take it i'm just going to so this is how it is going to look now for the rest of the area we can add some more decorative elements as you can see here they are using some lines here to fill the area they are using some shapes here for the shape like this so we can create something similar so for doing that i'm going to just get a ellipse here like this make sure it is in stroke mode so i'm going to take this i'm going to align it in the center position that is how it is going to be. maybe a bit in size and then i'm going to create another offset path create offset path like this then i'm going to create another offset path so i have three ellipses right now and from here i am going to change the middle ellipse and for doing that i'm going to press plus on my keyboard and I'm going to from this area really here in this. So that will create two extra anchor point. So with direct selection tool, I can select this part and then delete. As you can see, I have only this shape available here. So let's try to create a line here. I'm going to apply this effect on this line, maybe a bit longer, that is fine. And then I'm going to make a make some copies. So I'm pressing Alt, make it look like this, align, and then press okay, go to object and expand appearance. That's how it is looking. Now go to brush, click on new and then create art brush. Click OK, that is fine. Let's delete this one. So here I'm going to select this shape, then click on this brush here. So you can see this is creating this. This effect here, which is put now, I'm going to make a copy of it, reflect it. Okay, so I'm using shortcut, but you have to right click, transform, and then reflect. You can create a shortcut for this. I am using Ctrl R because okay, so Ctrl R is the shortcut for ruler, but I change it for reflect because reflect more than ruler, something like this. Now, this is fine. So this is how it is looking. I am going to keep. So I am going to take this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I am going to make it a group. Then selecting this snake shape, I am going to create an offset path for it. Not 20 pixel, that is too big. Maybe 10 or maybe 5 pixel. Okay, so 5 is good. Click OK. Cut it. Now I am going to select this group. And transparency and here press Ctrl F. How it is looking? Click on this merge and unite. So merge uniting is looking like this because this is in white. White does not work inside transparency. We need to change it to black. So changing it to black is going to make it look like this. And then we don't need this lower part of the circle. So again, I'm using my pencil tool to draw a shape like this, and this is that is fine. bigger. Let's try to maybe we can apply this to okay. Let's not do that. So, this is how it is looking right now. And for okay, so I think there is looking a bit longer. We can fix that. So, for fixing that. I need to select everything that is inside this shape except this outer shape. So I'm going to cut it now from here. Just that is the we made a mistake here, but we will fix that. Here I'll just make it one time up and then I'm going to press Ctrl F here. That is going to paste it in the exactly same place. So as it you can see this is now fitting better than the previous way. So we need to fix it like
Baik. Ya. Oke, okay, so that is fine. Oke, okay, so if I select this one, set the transparency, I'm going to remove everything. And then here I'm going to just make it simple shapes like this. That will here. Like this and this one. So I'm going to make it hope Then I'm going to select this to align in them and make them. I'm going to cut this to group. Then click press Ctrl F here. How it is looking? I'm going to select this group, align it in the center position like this, where they should be. Cut this again here, selecting this. And inside transparency, I'm going to press it, press Ctrl F again, press them. Now these two are going to be something like here. That is fine. And fix it here. At least. Better than yes. I'm going to here reflect it. Oh, now selecting this one to make the key object find in the center. So this is looking good and then for this area I need to fix part also let's delete that that it is different so this is better delete this I'm going to bring this up like this and that is fine so here I'm going to make this text a bit bigger up and then come and take it how it is looking right now that is fine so from here I am going to use some more decorative elements fill up some of the space that is left there one can group it copy them place it here and make sure everything is in black color so that is fine for this one i'm going to make it a bit bigger in size that i can press it yeah just like this just to fill these gaps here else align them group them and then align with the box here that is fine this is looking good so maybe this one here is not really important but for a design like this give it a bit bit more gorgeous look so from here i'm going to erase this part part how it is looking here to some fix here parts to okay that is good on all of it guys right here And this is how it is going to fit in there. That is good.
now for this area i think this is fine let's not some elements here not sure so they are using a floral element like this to copy this one not sure where it will test align them make them a can align with the position here now from here i am going to just this this part which is going inside the tips here and that is good so this is because of this one so they are using some floral element there that's why okay so i think this is fine this is oh need anything else copy this wanted to be a forest design this is a hard door firearm related firearm related design so so many florals will make it a garlic design i don't want that like this and then maybe okay and so as you can see this is how it is going to look now this was the border of our design i'm going to remove that and after removing that this is how my main design is looking Maybe inside the shape here so that it looks like that is not outside from here i'm going to Make some modifications. Uh, ornament here, that is fine. Okay, so as you can see, this is how it is going to look. Select everything, and then from here, I am going to make a copy so that here I can modify that. So this is how it is going to look right now. I am going to just bend everything. Okay, so I am using shortcut, but you need to go to object and then expand. How it is good need to make sure that i can change the colors so you can see this is how it is looking but the problem is there was some colors inside the there was some white inside the gun so that is why it is looking like this we cannot do that so i am going to double click to isolate this group. then i am going to take my magic one tool to select everything that is in black now change it to red so you can see this is how it is going to look and it is going to keep the details of the guns Done. so that is fine now i'm going to make it kind of like this color so something like this how it is going to be and as you can see this is how it is looking but the problem is we don't want any kind of fights in our design so this is how it is it's Select this white with the magic wand and then remove them or delete them. So as you can see, you can simply pick this color from here that we here. This is how we can recreate a design like this, and they are using some kind of distress filter on it. So we can do the same. You can search on free pick for guns texture, and you will find tons of Pictures like this, you can just take any one you want. To search like grand texture, you will find this exactly four textures. I'm going to select this one. Now I'm going to come to this layer. Make sure it is copy, it is a group, then and transparency. Press Ctrl V here for pasting that grand texture, and I'm going to just 
press it something like this make it look like this and then make sure it is complete black so this is give me this old or vintage looking grass texture so this is how you can recreate an existing design a different text so i hope this was helpful and it took me long because for a long time i'm making tutorials so i am a bit nervous so i hope this was helpful see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone